in a very chaotic place in my life, and so I'm starting to learn how to utilize that into my work and use it as a transformative and explorative experience. Isn't this a great art conversation? Right? Thank you guys for being part of it and flexing your creative dexterity. I'd, I'd like to add to this whole chaos thing for just a moment. I didn't even know what it was, really, until I got to see some videos that Elijah had made. You know, so I got to watch me painting. And I'm like, oh, look, look, there's Nez painting. Oh, he's wearing white. Oh, he's chanting and saying sweet words. It was a little painting, and he's spraying rose water, and it's all pretty. And, and then I got to watch this moment where I was like, ooh, what's happening? Oh, oh, that's, oh. And like, I just I got to watch Nez like, open this door and just let it all happen. Whatever was going on there is like, ooh, whoa. And like, I was shocked watching the video of myself making the painting. I was like, whoa, dude, don't do that. Oh, that's me. That's cool. I can relax. That's, whoa, okay. That's what you go through. And then, and then the, the alchemical work is to open the door and let all of chaos, that moment, all the, the prayers that you had built up and let just like, and all the opposite of their prayers, let it all land there. See the completeness of it. And then you get to like, be that alchemy thing that we're all like, oh, I love the alchemist, right? So, right, you, you boil it down and then you reform it again and like push it past the thing and go oh that was i'm sorry no you now you're like you have character so let's re-bring you back to like and heal those those things that happen heal that chaos and just sit there because we're all just like well now i really have to love you like you're so pretty and you're special and you're gonna be whatever and then and that's that's for me that's when a painting like finds its wholeness and i gotta I, like i don't get to i don't like i was listening to you get, I don't, do you guys get to pick your paintings? Like, you get to pick it? Like, right, we don't no. need to, like, choose the painting, right? We're just like, the muse said L this way, and yeah. then she said, she said green earlier, so uh, green. Yes, yes. Purple, 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 purple. I got it, <laughs> right? So then we don't even get to check, do you know, like, you need to pick this, like, oh, I'm going to paint the light painting or the, the dark painting. It's just like, green mixed with purple. It's what, it's what time it is. Art. It's what time it is. And you always, like, you get the painting, you're like, oh, but I just really love this spot. Like, everything else, oh, but I just really love this spot. And then finally you're like, the spot that you love, you had to destroy it. Oh, just yeah. So that all the rest of it, oh, like, yeah. oh, that's great. But that one part, you're like, well, see you later. Like, <laughs> and then it starts to come together. But you have, sometimes you have to destroy, most of the time you have to destroy the thing that you love the most. That is really... The whole. Seriously true. Is, that happens a lot. <laughs> I've seen Eric throw a bunch of paint on his painting when it's done. It looks beautiful. Man. He just throws a gallon of paint on it. You're like, dude, I, I, I liked it before. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like you need the chaos sometimes to like, you're just, yeah, to three spur. You, you get trapped and you're like, all right, chaos. Start yeah. sort of from scratch in a way, but. Oh, man, Sorry, go ahead, Elijah. Yeah. Witnessing Nez destroy paintings is one of my favorite uh, hobbies, actually. <laughs> Specifically because when you know a master and you see someone with a lot of skill and dexterity and grace and trust in the process, and witnessing the alchemical process of art, for me, that is the art. I love what ends up on the, th on the canvas. It's amazing. But the conversations that occur, the ripples after, and the process that I witness in the beings, in myself or in the people that we're creating, that is where the magic lives and gets destroyed. <laughs> that the piece that I really wanted to share is just this, my philosophy, the philosophy that every shadow contains a gift. Every destruction is here for a liberating force in our life. And if there is that darkness in our process, it's because there's a part of love that's still confused. And it's asking for our attention. And the artist, again, I just witnessed these beings with the courage to keep pushing the paint around, to keep letting all that chaos. You know, when, when Nez is... is painting with that airbrush to the thumping, grinding, you know, electronic, like, assault that sometimes occurs that's dry, but it's drawing out all that energy in his body, in the collective body, but the dedication, the ferocious devotion it takes to paint our shadows back into the light, and not just to the happy, pretty, angelic colors, that's amazing, if it's true and authentic, but I want that grief and the grit and the, and the fullness, the totality 
of the experience because then it's real. It has the magic in it. And so, again, I just bow in gratitude to the beings that choose to use the minerals, the earth, the oils, the waters to actually sculpt that living process of alchemy and take care of each other. <laughs> Oh, that's a pants head. Hawaiian! Yeah, all right, yeah. Wear the bear jacket. Very cool. <laughs> they asked as an artist, like from the artist world, uh, uh, to give us a uh, teaching, to do our teachers in the world, um, uh, that you, have, you let go. So there's an instruction aspect. So how, is there a metaphor to help us understand how to let go of grace? for an attachment in a like in a, just a little gem <laughs> awesome letting go pros please just a simple breath right that's really just it can be so it can be so simple it doesn't have to be all kind of painterly or worried or any you just like exhale to the fullest and just let it all fall out of there you, you did you did say you did say teaching though and and I kind of was having something on my mind. Can I, is it okay if I just have a moment? I would love to impress upon y'all because I have a super great audience right now. This is fun, I got a microphone. Every time that you're out on a walk or you see something and you're like, oh, that's so pretty. And you feel that moment of love and you, you reach for your little the, the device to like, to capture that love, right? That's awesome. Like we all, we all want to get that beauty and capture that and hold it. But sometimes we end up missing it because we just got it and then we have like 7,000 of them but we don't actually, you didn't, we don't always spend the time for that to collect that moment. So instead of the camera, maybe take the, take the picture too because it's nice and share it with friends, but also pull out like a little sketchbook. And it doesn't have to be a good sketch, but what happens is you get to actually look and grasp at what it is that you love. And, oh, it's the dappled light that I'm liking and the shape of that. Just so you get to spend just a moment recognizing what it is that makes you so feel so fancy that you wanted to grab so quick and put it in the pocket and, ah, but like, I do it. I got lots of things that I love. I'll tuck up in here, but like, do some drawings. Just spend a moment. It doesn't even have to be good, but like what it does for you, that little like, brain exercise of reaching for what it is oh i do i like that's the refinement of what i like it's just that thing that made me feel special that's a very that's nice thing. Great. Thank you, i would love to see you guys all with little tiny sketchbooks and pencils drawing things that you love sometimes <laughs> and taking pictures of them and we get to share those hand out etch sketches <laughs> oh all right <laughs> i'm gonna sell a painting by a whole bunch of etch sketches and then we'll have a party next year <laughs> Etch a sketch party. <laughs> On the theme of Adam mentioned that light yeah. and dark are mobilizing forces, I believe were your words. So coming into movement and currents, which seems to be something that all of us have experienced, is feeling a current of inspiration that seems to carry us. Um, do you experience currents of themes? Themes that come up in waves? And if so, um, any themes that are really asking for your attention right now that you'd like to dive into? My co-conspirator, Aaliyah, mentioned that she noticed devotion, community, and nature are all being very fe featured very prominently right now. So you may speak to any of those, but any others that call? Themes are like, uh, at least to me, sort of chapters in my life. Um, ideas that I mull over and focus on for months at a time that really consume me, um, sometimes years. I think that it's really like writing a book or something. I'm, sometimes I feel a hard close to a journey and a time of rest afterwards to say like to rebuild myself and say okay I'm gonna go out on the road again I'm gonna I'm gonna you know dive back into this um, 